on YouTube coming back with another quick video uh, I've been trying to get into more recording and things of that nature so I've been testing out a couple apps on my phone that kind of helped me do it simpler uh, breaking down videos and editing them much easier than if I actually just uh, you know actually had to do it on my computer so this is what I use to record my Clash of Clans videos uh, it's called Game Screen Recorder uh, I'll go through some of the settings, but right here you're just going to see you can add what games you actually want to record when you play. Uh, you just basically click on the game, and when it loads up, if it loads up, I've never had that happen. Oh, I guess what's happening here is this is something I just found out. If you're already recording, and then you try and go in and click on something to record again, it won't let you. But things you can do is actually click on the app. Before you start recording, click on the app. It'll pull up the game. And then there's a little transparent button, which you can see at the top left-hand corner of my screen. Uh, you click that, and it gives you a counter to go down. Um, right here, I have my recording engine. These are just some of the things you can change on this, which I actually like. Uh, the recording engine I have is default, which means I can't pause. I have to do all this in a one clean shot. Uh, if you go in and change it to pause, it is known to crash more, but you can just pause it and then cut back in when you're ready. Resolution I have set to HD, which I don't really know if that matters, to be honest, because uh, on a phone, normally you're not going to get the best resolution. Even if your phone is great and amazing, it's just not going to really matter all too much. Now, if you set it to the lowest it can go, of course, it's not going to look as good. Frame rate again, 30 frames per second, no issues with that. Um, the higher quality, I mean, getting a bigger size, it really doesn't matter if you have a chip. So overall, that's pretty good. But here comes some of the good things. I'm recording the audio with this with a pair of headphones I have plugged in. I've actually done it with uh, nice Turtle Beaches plugged into it before. But if you don't have anything plugged in it will still record your audio while you're just talking but it sounds really bad so I always plug in headphones before I use it you can do a face cam with this also while you're doing the game I don't know how it would work out because you are on your phone and your phone's not really I guess if you have the right setup it would work but if you're gonna be playing the game and doing that not too good and then the record button option is just how bright the, or how transparent the uh, button is going to be on the screen. I don't like being able to see it. So whenever I'm recording a game, I'll just hide it in a corner where it doesn't really matter. I do have time delay set on that way when I hit play, it gives me a little countdown on the screen to let me know when to go. Pretty much the rest of these are nothing else that are too important. But... The only downside to this is when you go to add games, not all of them, are, it won't let you add all the games to it, which can be kind of annoying when you're just trying to uh, want to record Pokemon or something. You can do that, but you've always got to add the game before you can do it, and it won't let you add some games, which is kind of annoying, but for the most part, it does let you do them. So overall, this screen recorder is actually one of the better ones I've found. Uh, it's not, I mean, there's things that I think can be improved, such as the button disappearing whenever you start. I know transparency lets you know the time and all of that. But if you don't care about the time and you just want it to record, and you can turn it off by clicking in the same spot, that would be nice. Because uh, I don't like having that on the screen. It looks like a watermark, and that is very annoying to have. And then other than that, other than it occasionally crashing if you use the uh, advanced mode where you can pause, other than that happening, sorry, my alarm just went off. Uh, other than that happening, it's a pretty good uh, app, and I really do enjoy it. I know that it's available on Android, iPhone. I've actually looked for it for a couple of my other friends that work on YouTube. Uh, if you want to do a couple mobile games, I try to find it for them because it actually worked really good, but it just happened. I couldn't find it on there, so I'm not sure if it's on iPhone. Uh, if it is, let me know down in the comments. 
and uh, I'll put it in the description if I find out that it is. But if you watch any of my Clash of Clans videos, they're all recorded on this. Uh, so if you want to know the exact video quality, uh, just go ahead and go check that out. I was going to try and do it here, but it's not let me pull it up. So let me see. I'm going to click on a different game. Because technically I am recording in Clash of Clans. That's another thing. If you want to record anything on there that doesn't let you play that game, you click on it and then hit your home button and it'll back you out. And uh, then you can just record anything you want. I think that may be the problem. So real quick, click on Hato. No, let's not let me do any of them. That sucks. But if you just want to check out any of it, I'll probably just attach it to the end of the video uh, and give you some better gameplay of it. So anyways, I would give this about a 4 out of 5. It's really good. Of course, there's minor improvements that can be made, but I think that's with about any app. But for me, this is the best recorder, screen recorder on Android. Just remember, you probably want to use the headset whenever you use it. And that's about the only downside to it. And it records audio very well other than that. So I'll just attach some gameplay at the end so you can check out how good it is while recording certain games. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Alrighty, so this is going to be attached uh, to the end of my video. Uh, all the settings I've already shown you that I'm using currently. Uh, I'm just giving you a little gameplay right here so you can see what it actually looks like. It's actually pretty good. I mean, the game is very clear and everything. Uh, the only issues come up when your play button could get in the way, which is, if you can see it on my screen, I turned down the brightness of it. It's on the top left-hand corner. The only issue with it is if... Um, you can't, sorry, only issue is if that button gets in the way of what you're playing. For me, it doesn't in Clash of Clans. You can move it to the top left and it doesn't do anything. So, there's that. And then, of course, I'm going to just show you things moving on the screen. It doesn't lag, anything like that. Everything gets done in one, you know, continuous motion. So, that's good. And it records, I think, pretty high definition considering, one, it's on a phone. And two, I'm just using a third-party recorder on it. But there you go. Just thought I'd add in some gameplay at the end. Uh, if you stuck around for this, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments down below of other apps you would want me to review. Uh, I do have a series of this on my channel, so if you want to go check that out, uh, just go to my playlist and you'll see it right away. Thanks for watching.